Hey guys, how are you? I hope you are learning good and I am Fahad from modeforward.com and today in this video we are back with another amazing custom ROM Android 13 based custom ROM for our Redmi Note 11 and this one is the uh, Pixel Extended ROM and uh, its uh, version is 5.2 and its Android version is 13 as you can see here and uh, as, you can, as you guys can check and this is the smoother ROM and as you can see here its uh, security patch is also all the way latest 5 November 2022 so in this video I will be showing you its full review and I will also show you how you can install it on your Redmi Note 11 so without any further ado let's get started so the ROM is pretty much stable there is no any single bug or issue in this ROM everything is just working fine there is no any single bug or issue in this ROM everything is just working fine like mobile data is working Wi-Fi is working and hotspot is also working so uh, I don't know if the uh, Woo Wi-Fi is working or not in this uh, ROM because I cannot test it out because Woo Wi-Fi is not available in my country and as you can see here the animations are also played very well the speed of this ROM is also pretty much quickly and we have two cameras pre-installed right here as you can see here this one is the simple one like you can take the photos and record the videos right from here you can also scan any document right from here and the second one is the uh, google camera go edition and here we have some options like portrait photo you can uh, take the portrait uh, portraits of your friends and family you can also switch to the front camera as well here we have the photo mode video mode and you can also use the google translate feature in this camera but if you want uh, more advanced features uh, like uh, night mode advanced portrait mode and uh, all other advanced video modes then you can go for a gcam mode uh, from google and uh, uh, other than that everything is just working fine as you can see here uh, if you talk about the applications there are only few and needed applications are pre-installed no janky applications are pre-installed in this rom and uh, from the left you can access the uh, google feed right from here and then in the home screen here we have wallpaper and style from here you can change the wallpaper to any of these basically this is the google wallpaper application and uh, after it you can change the uh, wallpaper colors you can also enable the dark theme and you can also enable the uh, themed icons right from here and you can also change the app grid after it here we have widgets option from here you can add a lot of widgets to your home screen to customize it as i have done my home screen as you can see here i just customized the home screen by my own by adding some amazing widgets and uh, after it here we have the home settings and here we have pixel launcher with some minimum customizations and uh, the all overall performance of this rom is pretty much smooth uh, this is the uh, one of the most smoothest custom roms out there and uh, now let's go into the settings and have a look on the customizations but first of all let's have a look on the quick settings first of all in the quick settings here we have the date at the top here we have the time connectivity options and battery estimate is right here and uh, then we have brightness slider and at the bottom here we have settings and power option so in the settings here we have connectivity options apps and here we have pack extensions as you can see here PEX tension and here we have all available customization first of all here we have the status bar customization from here you can enable or disable the network uh, traffic monitor and then we have status bar icons here we have another icon settings like Woo Wi-Fi icon that's mean Woo Wi-Fi is working in this room so everything is just working now Woo Wi-Fi is also working then we have tap to sleep and then we have clock settings battery indicator then you can also enable or disable the battery percentage and some other quick pull down settings then we have lock screen settings here we have some double tap features and all other things and the double tap to check is not working i don't know why so let's try again but it is not working then we have system in the system we have app per volume control vibrate to indicate call status then we have hardware and in the hardware here we have fingerprint sensor options so this was the customizations other than that here we have notification battery the battery backup of this rom is also pretty much awesome and uh, here we have the battery usage and the battery saver by the way we also have the 
extreme battery saver right here then we have the battery preferences and then we have storage sound and vibrations and in the sound and vibrations uh, we have the new option which is called the smart pause and uh, other than that we don't have any Dolby Atmos or any sound enhancing technology in this room then we have display in the display we have brightness options lock screen options you can enable disable the dark theme screen saver you can uh, manage the display and text size right from here you can also make the text bold and high contrast then we have night light you can change its intensity too and here we have live display color profile i am going to use the boosted one then we have auto rotation and we, all, we also have the option to use the smooth display right here it will automatically raises the refresh rate from 60 to 90 hertz for some content like scrolling on social media or while playing the games then we have tap to wake but we don't have any option to set the maximum or minimum refresh rate in this room but the smooth display is available that's a plus point then we have uh, accessibility is security and in this security as you can see here it is showing you the warnings right here security may be at risk because i am not using any screen lock now as you can see here and uh, all other security features are working there is no any single bug or issue and uh, every security option is uh, available in this room like lock screens are available and you can also use the face unlock and fingerprint in this room as you can see here face unlock option is also available in this room so no need to be worried about it every security option is working then we have privacy location location safety and emergency passwords accounts digital well-being google system in the system we have languages and input live translate date and time backup rules multiple users and reset options but we don't have any option of update because this is not the official rom and then you can check your android version which is android 13 and as you can see here and the security patch is also all the latest 5 November 2022 and uh, the extended version is 5.2 so the ROM itself is pretty much smooth and stable there is no any single bug or issue and if you want to use it as your daily driver you can use it as your daily driver as well and uh, if you want to install it on your Redmi Note 11 then uh, it will work on both devices Redmi Note 11 and Redmi Note 11 NFC and no matter if you have global version Chinese or Indian version it will work on every Redmi Note 11 and Redmi Note 11 NFC model. So if you want to install this Pixel Extended 5.2 ROM on your Redmi Note 11 then the download link and installation instructions is available in the description box. Go and follow them and you will be able to install this ROM on your Redmi Note 11. So this was the video for today. I hope you guys like this video. If you really did hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also press the bell icon for future updates. Keep supporting. Thanks for watching. Peace. And if you have any question or queries about this ROM or any ROM, then you can ask us in the comment section or you can also join us on the Telegram. Telegram group and channel link is in the description. Keep supporting. Thanks for watching. Peace.